okay so this portion you see my nginx working if i want to stop any container so i am now stopping uh, 8082 port container so i write docker ps stop container id sorry docker container stop and you using the container id container stop <laughs> container stop yeah now container is a stop if i clear again and you see if you run docker ps then you see only two container and if i go to browser and 8082 write again you see hmm, which container stop uh, so it's going to uh, some cache localhost 8082 yeah now the container is stopping and you see the browser not 8082 port is working and if i go to 8081 and you see another two container also running perfectly only 8082 port container is stop now stopping okay and you see this image is not showing here but yeah, is content is not showing here if you write docker ps hyphen a then you see already running container and stop container also showing there and how can you understand which container is uh, stop in your status you see the container is stop and when a container is stop then you cannot find a port option also okay so yeah you can uh, stop any container using your container id or using your name if i want to stop the container in 8081 or 8080 then i copy the name docker container stop that time stop that time the container name okay so you see the container is stopped now if i write ps ps only show already running container and and ps hyphen a it's showing the running and existing existed con uh, a both of container in your list okay so our two containers stop on the 8081 container is running 8081 only 8081 container is running and 8080 containers also stop sometimes getting some cache data and you see now the you cannot site is not reachable if you want to delete a container you you first job is stop the container without a stop you cannot delete any container suppose docker rm if i write this container my nginx and click enter docker stop docker stop notice i am want to remove the container rm then you see response from daemon you cannot remove a running container blah 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 stop the container before attempting removal or force remove okay so before without stopping any container you cannot delete any container you can also delete it in forcefully so again i write it docker rm if you want to uh, delete any container which already run then you need to provide the key hyphen f before your container name so now our if i see the docker ps not any single container is running and docker ps hyphen a only two image container is showing cause i already deleted a container okay if you want to delete multiple container that you run rm hyphen f for forcefully hyphen f 
and copy the name and multiple container you write okay so i write both of the container name in second co uh, single command and you see all my container is removed from our system so if i write docker ps not any container present docker ps hyphen a and you see not any already existed container present in our scenario so we learn how to how to stop and how to remove a container and one important thing if you want to in delete image docker image ls you see in our system two image is present okay so if uh, you want to delete image docker image rm or docker rm uh, sorry docker image rm image rm then you provide the image id or if you want to using the image name then you need to also provide the tag version okay so i have a two image one is for uh, yeah and one is for another so i use the image id docker image rm and provide the image id and you see image is deleted and you write docker image ls and you see only a single image also running there and another important concept you need to learn i am creating another image another container uh, and provide some name here hyphen hyphen name my nginx practice and you see docker ps docker cgr ps you see only one image is running and 8080 port 8080 i refresh it yes nginx is running if any container running using any image then you see our image name is nginx if you want to delete this image docker image ls docker image ls and now docker image rm and provide the image id sorry the image id i okay again i can copy and paste it unable to delete this image image is being used by running container if any container is running uh, using this image that image you cannot delete okay so first of all you need to delete your container then you then you can easily delete your image okay so this portion you learn how 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 can how easily uh, we can delete image uh, delete container how to stop the container and what is the difference between uh, uh, running container and how where we can find running container and existing uh, existed container in list okay and for this tutorial i think you understand this portion what is the difference between image and container uh, without uh, seeing the document you think yourself that is first of all without any image you can't create any container uh, then uh, using a single image you can create multiple container okay only two portion you uh, you learn and another por another some difference you can also understand when we are work start working our code so uh, uh, that is uh, you see uh, is a container blueprint is image instance you know yeah is a blueprint that is the class and object in uh, scenario thing uh, they describe it is immutable that means in image you cannot modify anything if you want to modify image then you need to create another image using the modification you see if i go to the ng uh, search nginx you see not only a official nginx image present there are 86028 image present using the nginx 
this is official that means this image is developed by nginx company and others image developed by some another user okay they, these are not the official so if you want to uh, develop any image using the nginx uh, if you want to modify uh, nginx uh, configuration so you need to update the uh, image and need to develop another image that is the bitomi nginx ingress controller also very uh, also developed using the nginx okay so i think this video you learn huge thing next video we start working some very very important concept how can i we modify our container okay bye bye